All right, we're at the airport and we're obviously about to take off. We got a little over $100,000 in cash and we're flying to Vegas. I never done no shit like this. First of all, I'm not a gambler, so I have no idea how to even play. And so we brought an exorbitant amount of cash. We're going over to Vegas. We've got a professional gambler, the guy in red over there, Christopher Mitchell. We're going to find out if he's for real or not, right? This guy lets us down, he coming back with us. I'm just saying. So you just have to keep up with us to see how it all works out because at this point, no one knows. right now is telling everybody it's a recession so everybody starts tightening up and they create their own problems. I don't believe that. You know why? Because I've survived three of them and I have gotten richer every time. Not not because I do what to do because I'm smart and play the market. No, it's none of that. You know why? So while everybody else is being a ass motherfucker and not working, I just kept working. Oh, there's a trillion dollars on the street right now, so how can they stay? Yeah, they just printed more money than they've ever printed in history, man. And then mother stop collecting it. Imagine that. The government's literally like, yo, we just printed more money than ever before, and mother <laughs> like, oh, what the I'll play video games, what the hell is Yeah, oink oink, mother let's go. Don't more than 10% anything that you make. So I'll go and I'll get 10%. Then we can go find a fun with that. And then you go with Chris and you turn that shit into, yeah. you know, whatever amount of money. You gotta buy that bag because you guys gotta make a video for your vlog and the bag is part of the video part because you need to go through the experience. It's just a tax right off at that point. You're gonna have to have some taxes because you got capital gum. As long as I buy a bag big enough to put my computer in, they really can't tell me what That's kind of bag I should be carrying my computer in. And it's got protective powder in it to keep it safe. That's what you're thinking <laughs> about buying a bag in Vegas? I'm just checking. Wrong bag. But I like where your head's at. How many letters of the alphabet can you get in your bloodstream? I'm gonna skip the letters V, I, and H if that's okay with you. <laughs>
Zork's world. This place is huge, first of all. Here's the other thing, though. Babe, come here. We owe my man Chris Mitchell an apology because uh, the goat took us gambling, and it did turn out to be profitable. But baby girl here, she only made it about 45 minutes, and she started talking about, it's 1, 1 a.m. In, in Texas. I'm tired. And so about the time I just got going, I made my, like, first $5,000 bet, made the money on it. I was like, oh, hell yeah, right? She's like, got to go. So the $100 that I won at the table cost me 120 to get six minutes up the road in a Escalade limousine. We had so, a little John dance party. So, so technically it was a deficit, but it had nothing to do with the gambling. But 